A severe weather threat. Several high school football games have been moved up to tomorrow night, including Cal at Manuel, Jefferson Town at Doss. And the decision to reschedule games isn't one that's taken lightly. Wave News reporter Kirsten Foote spoke to Doss's athletic director and shares more about the decision making. Kirsten. John Myra, Doss's athletic director, tells me that with that expected weather to come our way on Friday and Saturday, the decision to, make, to move his game up to Thursday was an easy one. I don't think very many people wanted to stand out in that Friday night storm. From concession workers, security, medical staff, even the chain crew running the football games, they're all critical in making touchdown Friday nights a success. We were able to move all of the components of the game and the staff to Thursday. We felt that was the best decision. This week, their Thursday night lights due to expected storms passing through Friday into Saturday. It's homecoming week for us, so all the kids have had a lot of buildup. Um, and uh, we're really excited to play the game. This week's game at DOS is extra special. Not being sure-footed could cause injuries. Um, and, you know, high school boys love to play football in the mud, um, but you have to make sure that, that they're going to be safe. Moving up the game was also a matter of safety. From the rain we've gotten earlier this week and more to come, McCready says it could have been risky with the mud being a top concern. They're a little bit accustomed to, to small changes like that. I don't think it's going to be anything that affects their, their game play. Several weeks into the high school football season, a time where each and every game matters, even if it means changing up their schedule. On a high school football game. It's at 7 o'clock tomorrow night, Thursday, here at Doss High School. We'll have more on those other high school football games that also had their schedules changed later in sports. Reporting live, Kirsten Foote, Wave Nips. Thank you, Kirsten.